Summer's here, and the heat is on. What if you could build your own air conditioner, a device to combat the sweltering heat, using just dirt, water, and a few simple parts? Today, we're building a DIY pot AC, a testament to ingenuity and resourcefulness. We're tapping into evaporative cooling, the magic of turning water into a refreshing breeze. We'll use two clay pots, a fan, some tubing, and water to create a personal oasis of cool air. It's about making your own chill zone, a personal space where you can escape the oppressive heat and relax in comfort. I'll walk you through every step, ensuring that you can easily follow along and build your own pot AC. We'll even test it with thermometers and a thermal camera to prove it works. Ready to beat the heat and build something awesome? Let's get started. Let's dive in and start building our DIY pod AC. Have you ever wondered how to keep cool without relying on energy guzzling air conditioners? How does a simple clay pot actually cool air? It seems like magic, doesn't it? Well, it's not magic. It's all about evaporative cooling, a natural phenomenon that's been used for centuries. Think about it. When you sweat, the moisture evaporates from your skin and pulls heat from your skin, creating a refreshing coolness. That's nature's AC, working its wonders right on your body. Our pot cooler uses the same principle, mimicking the way our bodies regulate temperature. But instead of cooling your skin, it's working to cool the air around you. Unglazed terracotta pots are key to this process. They're porous, meaning they have tiny little holes all over their surface. These pores allow water to slowly seep through the clay and coat the surface of the pot, creating a thin layer of moisture. When air flows over the wet pot, that thin layer of water is ready to evaporate. As the water evaporates, it's stealing heat from the pot itself and the surrounding air, lowering the temperature. The result? The air coming out of the pot is noticeably cooler and also a bit more humid, which can be a welcome relief in dry climates. The more surface area you have for evaporation, and the more airflow you create across that surface, the more significant the cooling effect will be. That's precisely why we use two pots and a fan in our DIY cooler design. This combination is designed to maximize the rate of evaporation, leading to a more powerful cooling effect. It's a simple ancient system, a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. And the best part is, it works beautifully, providing a refreshing escape from the heat. The fan plays a crucial role by speeding up the rate of evaporation, significantly enhancing the overall cooling effect. The difference is truly remarkable, making the cooling effect much stronger and more noticeable. Water continuously seeps through the porous clay. Air constantly flows over the moist surface. Heat is efficiently pulled out of the system, and a stream of cool, refreshing air emerges. It's a continuous, natural cycle, a self-sustaining cooling process powered by the simple principles of evaporation. And the best part? No harmful refrigerants are needed, no energy-intensive compressors, just pure, natural cooling. This is ancient wisdom, passed down through generations, meeting modern DIY ingenuity, creating a sustainable and effective cooling solution. All you need to get started is clay in the form of unglazed terracotta pots, water to fuel the evaporation process, and a little airflow to enhance the cooling effect. It's a low-tech solution, accessible to everyone, sustainable, minimizing your environmental impact, and surprisingly effective at keeping you cool and comfortable. So, let's dive in and see how to gather all the necessary gear and components, and make this amazing DIY clay pot cooler a reality. Time for the pots list. Most of this is at your local hardware or garden store. You'll need two unglazed terracotta pots, one large, one smaller to fit inside with a gap. That gap is where the magic happens. Next, grab a small 12V DC fan, like a computer case fan, and a power adapter. For a portable setup, a battery pack or solar panel works too. To keep things wet, get a small submersible water pump and some vinyl tubing. The pump will circulate water to keep the sand saturated. You'll also need clean sand to fill the gap between the pots. It acts as a water holding sponge. A drill with a hole saw bit for the fan and waterproof sealant or epoxy round out the list. That's it. Two pots, a fan, a pump, tubing, and sand. With these, you're ready to build a machine that turns hot air into cool relief. Gather your materials and let's get building. Simple parts, big results. Let's move on to assembly. DIY enthusiasts, let's build a personal air conditioning unit from terracotta pots. Drill a hole near the bottom of the large pot, going slow to avoid cracks. Place the smaller pot inside the larger one, centered, leaving an even gap. Fill the gap with sand almost to the top, then saturate it with water. Mount the fan over the hole, facing out, and seal it tight with epoxy or silicone. The fan should pull air down through the wet sand and out the exhaust. 
For automated watering, put a small pump in the inner pot. Attach tubing and poke holes to create a simple drip ring over the sand. When the pump runs, it keeps the sand wet, ensuring continuous evaporation. Fill the reservoir, plug in the fan and pump, and you're ready to go. Congratulations, you've just completed your very own pot-powered air conditioning unit. A gentle, cool breeze, a testament to your ingenuity, a sustainable, cost-effective way to beat the heat. And ready for testing, get ready to feel the difference. Time for the test. Does our DIY pot AC actually cool the air? I set up two thermometers, one for the air going in, one for the air coming out. The workshop was a brutal 95 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for a real challenge. With the fan and pump running, the system stabilized in minutes. The air coming out dropped to 79 degrees Fahrenheit, a 16 degree difference. That's the difference between misery and comfort. The thermal camera showed a clear plume of cool air streaming out. This isn't just a feeling, it's measurable, visible science. The DIY pot AC works and it works surprisingly well. It's a pocket of springtime on a scorching day. All from clay, sand, water and a little ingenuity. The data speaks for itself. You can build real comfort with simple materials. Let's talk upgrades. Want even more cooling? Try these upgrades. First, pre-chill the water. Add ice cubes to the reservoir for an extra temperature drop. The air gets cooled by both evaporation and direct contact with the icy sand. On the hottest days, this makes a big difference. Next, go solar. Run your fan and pump off a small solar panel for a totally off-grid, eco-friendly setup. Let the sun power your cool breeze. For the experimenters, try different materials in place of sand. Activated carbon or ceramic beads might boost performance. Stack multiple units or scale up for bigger spaces. The design is just a starting point. Customize and improve it. Get creative and push the limits. This is where DIY meets innovation. Maximize your chill, minimize your footprint. Now let's see how ancient wisdom inspired this tech. Clay cooling isn't new. It's ancient wisdom, especially in places like India. The matka, a large clay pot, keeps water cool using the same evaporative principle. But the kulhat, a small unglazed clay cup, brings this magic to your hands. Hot chai or cold lassi in a kulhat tastes earthy and stays cool longer thanks to micro-evaporation. The cup sweats, keeping your drink chilled and your hand cool. After use, the kulhad returns to the earth. No waste, just clay. It's a sustainable, elegant solution from centuries past. The kulhad is more than a cup. It's a symbol of simple, effective design. Ancient tech, modern relevance. Sometimes the best ideas are the oldest ones. Let's see how this spirit lives on in our DIY cooler. This DIY pot AC isn't just a fun project, it's a statement. Traditional ACs guzzle power and drive up your carbon footprint. Our pot cooler uses a fraction of the energy, and with solar, it's nearly zero emission. You're making comfort from sunlight, water, and clay. It's proof that simple, natural solutions can be powerful. This project reconnects you with the science and materials around you. You see every part working air, water, heat, and clay. It's empowering, repairable, and sustainable. You're not just a consumer, you're a creator. This is the maker spirit in action. Enjoy the cool breeze and know you're helping the planet. Small steps add up to big change. Let's challenge others to join in. You've seen the build, the science, and the results. A 16-degree drop from a homemade device. Now it's your turn. Grab the materials, clear a space, and build your own pot AC. Feel that first wave of cool air you made yourself. There's nothing like solving a real problem with your own hands. Share your build and results online with Hashpot Act Challenge. Show off your mods, your temperature drops, your creativity. Let's build a community of makers, each one fighting the heat sustainably. Learn, experiment, and inspire others. The world needs more builders and problem solvers. Don't just watch. Get your hands dirty and make a difference. The heat won't beat itself. Go build something awesome. I can't wait to see what you create.